Hey everybody, welcome to True Talks hey. TV. Yes, welcome, welcome. We're here in another episode. I am so excited. We are in the month of February and we have some exciting things going yes. on. And one thing that we definitely want to talk about is divorce. Life after divorce. So some of you may feel as though when divorce happens, that is just over. You know, where do I go from here? God doesn't like me anymore. I made a huge mistake. But trust me, you can heal. There is life after divorce. So true. It's definitely life after divorce. Definitely. Life doesn't end. It don't so end. join us today as we chat with our very special guest, Elaine Lewis. Hey girl, hey. hey. <laughs> so, we're in the month of February mm -hmm. and unfortunately many people dread this month because it's Valentine's love, Day. Love. Yeah. It's all about love and chocolates and teddy bears. Flowers. So, date you nights. Know, <laughs> date nights, you know. And it's okay to date yourself. Of course. Absolutely. So, we have Elaine Lewis. I call her Miss Elaine. Mm -hmm. She be getting mad at me. She don't she like does. it. Yeah. My mama taught me respect. And not that you're my elder or whatever, because we're close in age. You look young. Are we? Yeah. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Um, but yeah, my mom taught us that it's Miss, Mr., Ma'am, Sir. I you know, understand. so I greatly respect you. I appreciate Miss Elaine. I'm going to try to say Elaine. Let me let's, practice. Let's get Elaine. That. Elaine. <laughs> you don't feel right. Work on it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Elaine Lewis. Yes. Tell us about yourself. Thanks for being on the show. I appreciate this opportunity. This is so exciting for me. Um... What do you want to know? I am a mom. Mm -hmm. um, I am a single lady enjoying my singleness. Yes, enjoying every bit of it. Mm -hmm. um, I am a, a professional, a human resources professional. Okay. Um, I am on a journey to getting to know me. Okay, that's, yeah. that's very powerful. So I've known you as being married. Mm -hmm. So it seems that something has occurred, mm -hmm. and it being February, month of love, yeah. a lot of people are sad because they're single, they're mm -hmm. in the middle of a breakup, or confused, mm -hmm. uh, it's complicated, yeah. you know, or unfortunately divorced. So can you tell us about that? Yeah, it's so funny because um, I am divorced. Um, a two-time divorcee and I'm okay with it I'm I'm happy about my life and my choices and I, I would redo it all over again okay. um, especially to get to the place where I am um, my divorce did occur in late December so it was fastly approaching that month when you know the whole love celebration happens yeah. Yeah. and you remember you had a, a play at that time yes. and I was very hesitant yes. about going I didn't know if the other party would be in attendance. Yes, yes. I didn't know how I how I would be affected emotionally by yes. the play. I'm so glad I went because yes, it was it was life changing, and I honestly believe that that was an open door to my healing process. So I'm mm -hmm. glad I did take take advantage of that. I didn't stay in the house and you know sulk and cry and weep and all of those things. I had moments, you mm -hmm. know, of course, but at that time I I decided to. Um, take care of myself mm -hmm. and so I did get out and yes. not sit in the house and do the whole moping thing yes and I appreciate that and mm -hmm. a lot of people reported back to myself and Kanita the, mm -hmm. the one who uh, helped write the play mm -hmm. um, it was called The Perfect Date yes. and we wanted it to be something for people who were single married all types of relationships. Yes. It was something in this the show that everyone can receive from. Yes. And very so a relatable. lot of and unfortunately it's more people that's single or divorced than married. So mm -hmm. a lot of people was calling us in the messages like, Thank you so much. I wasn't home alone. I mm -hmm. wasn't depressed. We yes. strategically did it the day before Valentine's Day and on Valentine's Day so people can have something to do yes. so they don't feel bad. It was so perfect. Thanks for coming. It was I perfect. I went that. on a date with myself. Yes, and there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing it's at nothing all. Wrong. Can you tell us more about that? Like, what do you do to date yourself? Okay. Like, how do you feel? And I know for me, I'm learning to go out by mm -hmm. myself because yep. it, it is kind of weird looking at the 
empty seat in mm-hmm. front of you. Yeah. Or, you know, you look at other people and you're like, oh, dang, they eat by themselves. Like, I hope they're okay. Mm-hmm. But it is okay. So yeah. can you tell us about that? Well, one thing I did do um, when I didn't want to have those alone moments, I, I am very fortunate to have a amazing village. And my village does include married and single women. So mm-hmm. when my married friends weren't available, Sometimes my single friends were, and yes, so we would yes. make a day of it. We would um, love on each other. As a matter of fact, I believe that year also um, I did uh, plan a girls' night out. So nice. we, we went out. It, it, it didn't turn out to be everybody that I invited, but I did have one good friend. We went out to dinner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there was this special at a restaurant where if you brought in a particular picture mm-hmm. and you shredded it in front of them, you oh. got some free wings. Well, what so. was that? <laughs> I, I, I got some pictures that I need to shred. It was so fun. We had such a great night. Mm-hmm. Um, we went to the movies. We went out to dinner, and we just had a great time just loving on each other, yes, you know, having a good time, yes, girls, yes, ni- a girls yes. night out. Um, and I'm okay. I'm learning to enjoy me and spend time with myself yes. not by myself but with myself yes. i hang out i go to the movies well i don't do all of that now during mm-hmm. the pandemic but prior to the pandemic i would go out go to the movies go out yeah. to eat just be okay with doing things on my you know with myself yes, yes. I, I think that's important and that's just something that women and men mm-hmm. should understand that it's absolutely okay 1, to get one movie ticket mm-hmm. for yourself yep. to have to get that appetizer that entree yep. that dessert yep. for yourself yeah you know that's another form of self-care yes so going back to your um relationship because mm-hmm. i know people want to know you know the nitty-gritty you know so when did you know that okay you can't take this anymore or whatever the case was like when when was it time to move forward and just call it quits so um there were some uh some counseling sessions that we attended to try to see if this was something that we wanted to continue yes. in yes. um the other party made the decision that they no longer wanted to pursue it and so we mm-hmm. decided we would you know end our marriage um it wasn't an easy decision we tried really really hard we tried everything that we could mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> we tried everything that we could, and um, it just it just didn't work. It didn't work, and so um, the moment when I realized it, um, there w- there was some circumstances that led up to me accepting it. I knew mm-hmm. that it was definitely happening. Even in knowing it, I still was not ready. I was still wasn't ready to let it go. I see. There were some things that happened, um, and um, some evidence that was made available and that was my defining moment saying okay this is definitely happening this this party no longer wants to be connected to me in marriage and i'm we need to be okay with that we need to be okay with that yes and that's a that's a powerful lesson knowing accepting Mm -hmm. things as they are Mm -hmm. and the good part is that you fault because some people are just like oh he they doing what oh Mm -hmm. i'm out Mm -hmm. you know so at Mm -hmm. least even, even as a woman of god you fault and you know, we both we know did. yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that's I think that's a beautiful thing that you tried and you can peacefully part. Mm-hmm. Because things don't have to be ugly. Absolutely. Things don't have to be ratchet and mm-hmm. slashing yeah. tires. Oh, yeah, no. And busting I, windows. Listen, I'm too cute for that. We don't have time. Like, <laughs> I am too I cute for that. I don't feel like all that. No, like, I don't no, want to no. put on an all black and mm. be out at night. And I tell you what, slashing. I don't want to be somewhere where I'm not wanted. Ooh. So if I'm not wanted in that space, then it is time for me to move on. And that's important mm-hmm. because people try so hard to be loved and accepted mm-hmm. when that's it's it's not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. And I don't I'm not saying it to be blunt, but it's it's realizing when the time has come to just move forward, accept it. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. And so I noticed on um, social media that you have a hashtag mm-hmm. that I thought was really cool, mm-hmm. and I think a lot of people were shocked by seeing it because yeah. it just was like boom yeah and I'm, <laughs> I'm i love hashtags so can you tell us tell the people mm-hmm. your hashtag my hashtag or my brand my empowerment brand is i am elaine lewis i am i am she is i am elaine I am. lewis elaine yes lewis. indeed so you got your name, and the name is powerful. Yes, like your absolutely. name goes before you. Yes, indeed. So I, I really love that. I mm-hmm. really love that. And so, from my understanding, through all of this, you wrote a book, or yeah. you co-authored a book. Mm-hmm. 
tell us about your book. And I'm proud of you. Like, I don't, <laughs> this was, so the one, the, the thing that I'm excited about, I'm not excited about my divorce. Yes. In yes. no manner of the way, no way can I say that I'm excited about my Thanks divorce. Thanks for saying that. Yes. No, no, no. I, I believe in marriage. I yes. believe 100% in fighting for your marriage. I don't believe in divorce. Mm -hmm. But if it happens, it happens, yes. you know. Yes. But I do take the I've found positives yes. in it you know yes. I decided to I decided to to come out of it shining you yes. know I didn't want yes. to come out burning and you know broken and I had my moments I definitely yes. had my moments mm -hmm. but I I chose me I chose to be happy I chose to find the positives in it I never knew there was an author inside of me. Wow. Had I still been divorced, this yeah. author would probably have still been doing right. the Mary thing, right. you know. Chilling. And the whole idea behind my hashtag is for for 25 years or so, I was daughter to Willie. Yes. It, that's the Lewis. Yes. And then for 11 years, I was wife and mom to a Lindsay. Mm -hmm. And then for another nine years, I was a wife to a Johnson. Mm -hmm. And so when I came out of my last marriage, I decided that I am going to continue to, well, I'm going to learn who I am. Yes. You know, I never took yes. the time to learn who Elaine is. I never took the time to find out what she likes and what she did because I went straight from my dad's home mm -hmm. into being a wife and a mother. Mm -hmm. And I didn't take the time to learn who I am. And so I, 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 I branded myself Elaine Lewis and it's not against what my future looks like, yes, but I will yes. never change my name again. Okay. I will never change my okay. name again because I am, that's me yes. at the core. It, it's nothing against who, what my future looks mm -hmm. like, who he may be mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm never changing myself for another person ever again yes. in life. Yeah. So um, future sir, uh -huh. if you're out there, whoever you <laughs> let are. Let it be known. Let it be known. <laughs> I let will the not. record reflect. We grabbing Never. the air. Let the record reflect that okay. she will be. Although she Forever. may be married to you, uh -huh. she will be. I will not. And Elaine it's nothing against Lewis. that person, Elaine Lewis, forever and ever. I like ever. it. I like and it. And so the the um the message in my book, along with um, <laughs> it's a, a collaborative with some amazing ladies yes. that also went through traumatic experiences, and they chose to come out shining. We chose it. to come out, and so my my chapter is titled. Um, crown down because wow. in that moment my crown was tilted wow. and I think it probably fell off for a little okay. bit and okay. so with the help of my therapist mm -hmm. okay therapist. Yes, I do talk to God about it but I also talk to my therapist listen therapy Let, listen mm -hmm. people so <laughs> people think that just because you have a therapist mm -hmm. that you cray cray no that don't mean you crazy you it just need help and it, your therapist does not have to be nobody in the church because mm -hmm. we need balance listen we got prayer but yes. you also need to lay up on that couch. Yes, and sit stretch upon that out. chair stretch and out. talk to that. They have chapel cloths at the therapist's office too. Uh, okay, they can stretch you out and stretch out. cover you up. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, it. So there were moments when I was by myself mm -hmm. and I didn't want to want to put my burdens on my friends. Yes, yes. And I had my therapist that didn't have any any it, connection exactly, yes, and she yes. could. I could be transparent with her. I told her things that I haven't told any of my friends or my yeah. family. I shared so many of my personal um, transparent moments and she she nurtured me. Mm -hmm. She was sometimes she was my mother, yeah. sometimes she was my sister, my best friend, my auntie, my girlfriend. She played a role yes. in my recovery yes. to get to I, I and I gave myself 2 years. Mm -hmm. I gave myself 2 years. I didn't involve myself with anything or anybody. Yeah. I took care of Elaine. I yes. learned who Elaine is. I learned Elaine enjoys living alone, girl. Okay? She loves it. Okay. It took a minute to get there, okay. but she loves it. Elaine loves Loves Elaine. I am so excited about this person that I am still getting to know. I love it. And not to be funny, but it looked like and sounds like divorce work for you. And I'm not saying I'm not saying I, go I, out there and sign them papers. I'm right. saying that doing what's best for you and what's healthier for you. Listen, I have so many friends that are that are going through challenges in their marriage. I'm not telling them to get a divorce. What yeah. I'm telling them is to follow the word of God, yes. which is to fight for your marriage. 
the, the, the marriage is is um is honorable. Yes, before in God. the sight of God. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm encouraging my friends. You work on your marriage. Mm-hmm. Do whatever you have to do to maintain your marriage. Divorce should not be an option. Yes, and that was what I stood on. Mm-hmm. I was under the impression that that partner stood on mm-hmm. that as well. But nothing against them. If mm-hmm. there's, I told you, I'm yeah. not gonna stay somewhere where I'm not wanted. Yes. So yes. I encourage my yes. friends. You know, work on your marriage. Do whatever you can. Get therapy. Go to marriage counseling. Yes. Do it all. If divorce is the final end, then exhaust yes. every op- you try every that. every At door, you every opportunity to try to maintain your marriage. Yes, and 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 it makes me think of um, it's a scripture. Paul said that it's better to marry than to burn. Mm-hmm. However, comma, mm-hmm. if I'm burning in a marriage in pain mm-hmm. in agony. Mm-hmm then the alternative may have to be separating yes yeah and seeing if we could try again yeah. or divorce because nobody should live a life unhappy yeah god gave, came to give us life and life more abundantly absolutely so we should be able to experience some level of joy in yes, our relationship absolutely. and i'm not saying that everything will be peaches and cream and you know things like that but Every day shouldn't be miserable. Right, and exactly. It has to come a time where it's like, okay, either this is going to work or God is going to send me someone else. And yep. it's absolutely yep. okay. Life yep. is trial and error. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for oh. being on this show. I'm excited about yes. this book. Yes, yes Get yes. your copy of Ladies in Waiting. Wow, sis. Fix your fix crown. Fix that crown, honey. Fix that crown. Yes, and indeed. we can fix our sister's crown. Yes, indeed. Because we're helping one another. Absolutely. So, along with this book, what else are you working on? Huh. <laughs> you some things, I got else? some things I'm working okay. on. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be sharing okay. what's going on. Um, I, um, I took a step back from everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, physically, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, financially. I took a step back from everything. And I had to get myself together. And so now I'm moving forward. I've gotten 90% of my of my being mm-hmm. in check. And, and I'm on the... I'm finalizing well no I wouldn't say finalize because life is a journey yes. it's, it's continuous yes. but I'm I'm close to being back to who I was in every area of it. my life and it. so yeah things okay. are happening in Elaine's yes. life yes, yes. <laughs> so tell the people where they can find you on social media they may want to book you they may want to get some advice <laughs> tell the people okay well I can be found or on Facebook a yeah. mister may want to you may want to slide up in the DM. So let, let us know where we can find you. Yes, yeah, so I can be found on Facebook at Elaine Lewis. I my email address is I am I Elaine am. Lewis. I am. <laughs> And if you hit me on the, in my DMs, I might give you my telephone. She number. might. <laughs> you might. <laughs> might. You might. Okay. Well, thank you so thank much you. for just coming on the show, yes. for sharing. Mm-hmm. Um, you, I appreciate your transparency mm-hmm. and also your care. You were very gentle with how you put things. And that's I'm big. As that's women, at my core. You know, we can talk about it later. You know what I'm saying? We can have that discussion. Like, Step out of you know? it. So um, I had to work on that. I understand. I get it. You know, there, there's times when people can be very ratchet. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and you, you, you're speaking from a healed place. I, so I, I thank I, you for, I I for portraying that thank before you. the people. Thank you, thank everything you, don't thank have you. to be ugly. Everything don't have to be nasty. True. So thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. We wish you Godspeed. Yes. May doors open for you. Amen. And may you continue to be happy on this journey to I am. I am Elaine Lewis. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. God bless.